Hello, um, happy 1st of March everyone. It's the 1st of March. Um, the first thing my friend said to me when I went to up with her this morning was white rabbit because it is something that you do on the 1st of March, uh, apparently. It's a superstition, which is what I'm going to put this video on for some reason. It's kind of been made up in the last 10 minutes or so in between my two wonderful practicals of the day, one of which was teaching me about the proper use of the full stop and the second one is about cutting open a worm and poking around its insides. Hooray! Um, so yeah, like I was saying, first of my like, superstitions, um, I think they're cool, I mean I'm not a superstitious person myself, uh, but some of them are just really interesting, if you like look into them and where they've come from and the meanings behind them and all this that and the other. Um, so there's like the well-known ones that everyone knows, like walking under a ladder is bad luck, opening an umbrella and doors is bad luck, number 13 is unlucky, those kind of ones. Um, but then there's also like slightly less well-known ones, I was looking around a few when I was kind of putting everything together for this video, there's things like um, a loaf of bread should never be turned upside down after the slice has been cut from it, for some reason. Um, and there's also never take a broom with you when you move because it's supposed to bring bad luck. You have to buy a new one every time you move house. Which seems a bit economically unviable. Especially if you want a good broom. It can be quite expensive. You can make your own, I suppose, out of twigs. But yeah, um, as I was also looking around, you know everyone knows about the subsession of a black cat. Well, I found um, something that was saying that it's not just if a black cat pro crosses your path, it's bad luck. It's more that if a cat comes towards you, um, it brings good luck with it. But if it walks away from you, it takes the good luck away. So the cat walking away from you <laughs> is bad luck rather than the cat walking towards you if he's not walking across your path. Which is kind of specific anyway because it depends on where you're going and like what direction you're facing. And the cat could walk across your path when you're not walking it, if you know what I mean. That could be what happens if you've got a black cat at home and a garden path. You be walking across it all the time. Got a dimple. That's weird. Oh. Um. No, so another thing about superstitions is it's quite interesting to look into the origins of them, because, like, where have they come from? Um. Some of them randoms were like maybe. The guy, first guy who broke a mirror was fairly unlucky to start with. Well, because he broke a mirror. I mean. It's, I don't know how many people have actually broken a mirror in their time, but it's a fairly hard thing to do unless you actively trying to break the mirror. Um, so I can imagine he maybe was a bit unlucky to start with, and like he dropped it, and then he and then he used like the mirror to blame all of his future misfortunes on that. You see, because he was a clever dude, and he didn't, and it's a way of like taking responsibility off yourself clever man and then seven years later something good happened and he could say oh it only lasts seven years it's fine it's fine don't worry guys um but then some of them you can tell where the origins come from like walking and not walking under a ladder because it's bad luck i mean i'm not superstitious but i know better than to walk under a ladder because of common sense i mean you don't walk under a ladder because there's probably someone at the top doing something and they might they could very easily drop something or this breaks. I have a paranoid fear of ladders. There's there's nothing really stopping them, like the bottom half. I'm just gonna go from that to that. And if you're underneath it, then you go. Ah, uh, oh, dead. Nino, Nino, Nino. Oh, then they're dead. It's not good. Um, <laughs> and then some just don't make any sense. Like one I found that said putting an acorn in the window stops lightning getting in. Because I found that's a common problem rogue lightning bolts just straying in through the window like it's a, a little old bee. It's very hard to catch afterwards as well. It sends my microwave on the fritz. It's just not a good thing. Acorns in the window. Helps. But then there's like massive cultural differences in superstitions and stuff. It's like um, I thought I looked into China because they have uh, quite a lot of um, what's the word? Kind of like herit like not herit heritage, that's not even a word. Um, like beliefs from their past and from their culture and stuff that we don't. For example, I found that hitting um, in China, hitting someone with a broom will give the person who hit them bad luck for 
not for ages. And there was other ones like um, if a dog um, if a dog howls for a few hours late at night, it means that someone's died somewhere. I think we have something similar to that in in our legend of the banshee. Is that right? I think like in the banshee when the banshee thing howls at night and means misfortune or something bad's happened. Um, but quite a large difference is that in China, thirteen the number thirteen is considered very lucky, and it's um, focused on quite a lot in gambling and business trip rooms and stuff like that. Um, whereas in like uh, in lot in hotels in Britain in America especially, the they don't have a thirteenth room or a thirteenth floor. Whereas in China, the room thirteen or offices on the floor thirteen are in great demand. This shows how diverse a world we are, really. So yeah, but I'm not a very superstitious person myself, except for just to just not a well, except for the whole Mayan calendar thing. Don't don't listen to Fishy. She's trying to lure you into false a false sense of security. She's gonna take all the foods off quick. Wait, steal all her food, it's the best way. And then we can like put ourselves in a bunker and live with cats and horses and radishes. And I have no idea what I'm talking about, so <laughs> I'm gonna go now. Um so yeah, that was a quick video on superstitions. White rabbit everyone. White rabbit.